Welcome to SwiftUI Fundamentals. In this video, I'm gonna talk about, you know, what we're gonna learn in this course and how we're gonna learn it and kind of the overall flow. First up, this was designed for people who at least have the basics of Swift down. You don't have to be a Swift pro, but, but at least know the basics. And if you don't know the basics, check out iOS Dev Launchpad. We go over all that. So this course is meant to build your foundation in SwiftUI and focus on what I believe is the core skill, and that is moving data around. You know, SwiftUI is declarative, which is quite different from the imperative programming paradigm we all may be used to with UIKit, right? It kind of flips it on its head. You have to completely think about things differently, right? It's a, it's a mindset shift. And that mindset shift and properly passing data between views, like that's what I wanna focus on in this course. Like yes, SwiftUI can do a lot of awesome animations, crazy cool UI stuff, but again, I wanna focus on the foundation of building apps. And to me, that is passing the data and getting your app to act how you want it to, right? I say that all the time. When I first learned SwiftUI, getting my app to look like I wanted to, right, with just building the UI, to me, that was like the easy part. Where I ran into frustrations and headaches was passing data and getting my app to act how I wanted. So that's what I wanna be the focus of this app. Fun, cool UI and animations, that can and will come later. All right, so how is this course gonna work? Let's talk about the flow. Uh, overall, we're gonna build four apps. It's gonna start off pretty easy, but we're gonna progressively get more difficult and build over time to where the final app is, is a bit complex, you know, for a foundational uh, course. And I'm gonna introduce concepts slowly at first, and we'll get a lot of practice, you know, building with them, using them, because uh, as you know, I'm a big believer in like practice, repetition. You don't just read one article or watch one video on a topic and then you know it. You gotta practice, practice, practice. But we do start off pretty easy. So if you do have a little bit of Swift UI experience and after the first two apps, you're like, oh man, this is super basic. Just, just wait, just wait. <laughs> but uh, okay, let's talk about those apps. So the first one, just the UI of a weather app. This is the introduction to the course. So we start off super basic. I wanna get you familiar with the foundational tools and just building UI in Swift UI. After that introductory app, uh, I go into more of an explainer session, some talking head, you know, graphical videos where I explain, you know, imperative versus declarative and the differences. I, I talk about how SwiftUI updates its views in the view tree hierarchy, talk about view modifiers, view builders, right? We, we kind of dive into the core concepts of explaining, but then we get back to code in the next app. Uh, it's about Apple frameworks where, as you can see, there's a grid, you can tap on a framework, uh, learn more about the framework. So not only will you learn how to build this kind of app, but hopefully you'll get inspired by reading about these frameworks and, and maybe get your next big app idea. But in that app, as you can see, we're adding a couple screens where we're starting to dip our toes into passing data from screen to screen. Like I said, we, we ease into it and get progressively more difficult. Now, the third app, all about the barcode scanner, this really focuses on UIKit integration with SwiftUI, right? Because, you know, SwiftUI is pretty new. Uh, a lot of stuff still isn't built in, such as the camera, like we see in this app. And this app focuses on passing data from UIKit to Swift UI when you have to integrate uh, UIKit. That's using UI view controller representable and coordinators to pass all the data. So the whole point of this app is to get you used to using that because if you're building apps in Swift UI, it's very likely that you're gonna have to go to UIKit for some things. And finally, we finish off with the more complex app. Well, well complex for a, a foundational course uh, where you can order appetizers, uh, you know, see a detailed view of it, add it to your card or your order, and then place your order. Uh, to be clear, I don't want to have any misconceptions. We're not implementing like Stripe and actual payment processing. That's a, that's a bit outside the scope of this course, but I don't want there to be any like wrong expectations. Now this app, you know, besides what you see, we're gonna deal with network calls in this app. So we're gonna do proper air handling, alerts, you know, some advanced animations. So again, this is where it gets a little more complex, you know, above what we did in the previous apps. And during each of these apps, we're gonna be refactoring along the way. We're gonna be talking about project organization and I'll be providing various levels of challenges uh, after each app. Uh, if you do wanna push yourself further and further to build upon the base, you know, of what these apps give you. After we build the four apps, we're gonna have a review section. And I think this is gonna be a very valuable section because it's, it's part of the learning process, right? You're gonna hear me talk about it. We're gonna get a chance to build and play with it a couple times, right? But once you've seen it in action, you've actually touched it. And then now if you go back and review it, I feel like that's gonna really solidify your knowledge and just really drive it into your head. And then the last section is our optimization section. And I did this in one of my previous courses, GitHub Followers, and a lot of people really loved this section. And, and what this is, is we go back, we fix some mistakes because everyone makes mistakes. And we also go back and like optimize and make our code better, maybe rebuild things a different way. It, it's a lot of the stuff that would have been 
too deep down a specific rabbit hole to teach you know when we built it right because i wanted to keep the the lesson focused but here we get a chance to go back and, and maybe spend one whole video on one little thread that i want to pull on uh to teach a little bit more and now I wanna talk about future updates because of course, SwiftUI is gonna change. So depending on how much it changes, right? If it's a small change, I'll probably leave a note in the description of the video to let people know what's going on. And I'll probably do a video at the beginning of the course, you know, when iOS 15 comes out, maybe like a what's new in iOS 15 that affects our, our projects. So you know upfront, like, hey, this is gonna be different. Or if something crazy drastically changes and breaks one of my videos, like I'll re-record the video or, or the section, right? So it kind of depends on the severity of the change on how I'm gonna handle it. But I do wanna keep this course up to date. That is going to be a priority of mine. And before I give my final disclaimer, I wanna mention the Slack channel access you get with this course. You get this with all my courses. This is a place for anybody taking my courses to kind of come together, have conversations in real time. You can meet developers from all over the world, other aspiring iOS developers, start building your network, you know, get help answering your questions, help others. It's just a place, you know, for developers to come together and, and chat and help each other. So you do get access to that. And then lastly, my final disclaimer, the only thing I can promise you is that SwiftUI is going to change, right? So don't treat this course as like the final end all be all of your Swift foundation, right? I wanna give you those foundational skills so that you can easily grow and evolve and adapt as this world of SwiftUI changes and evolves itself. So just keep that in mind. Things are probably gonna change, but hopefully you leave this course with a solid foundation so you can change with it.